היוצר בית הכנסת נכנס לבית המדרש, הרב הכתוב אומר, ילכו מחיל אל חי ירל וציון, ועומר אוספו נשגת וקיצור שולחן ערוך הלכות תפילין, בעזרת השם מעריב תדע ובגנוסטר, learning הלכות מזוזה, especially people just moved their house. מי שאין לו תפילין והציבור מתפלל, אם somebody doesn't have תפילין and people are praying, ברוך השם, we have a few extra peers, loan peers, that sometimes people come here, we can supply for them. But we go to a shul and they don't have, and you go to a shul and they don't have loan peers, what do you do? מותר שיתעכב עד לאחר תפילת הציבור לשעות תפילים לא מאחד. It's better that you shouldn't pray with the מניין, and you should pray by yourself, and borrow the תפילים after somebody takes it off in order, that you should read קריאת שמה and pray שמונה יסתם with תפילים. It's better than you should pray with the ציבור without תפילים. Now, This is a big <coughs> difference. A Chamovadia has brought down that if, let's say, somebody's going to pray by himself and his mind <coughs> takes a vacation while he's praying, he ends up in Miami. And a lot of times people <coughs> they're praying, they end up in Miami. So then, you're not going to say tefillah if it's biyachid. There's a difference between if you pray with the minyan or you pray biyachid. When you pray with a minyan, even if you don't have kavanah, the zechut of the tzibur brings up the tefillah. But if you're praying by yourself, you have to be much more in tune to be mechaven. Because if you don't have kavanah when you're praying, when you're praying by yourself, v'yachid, so then you're in for trouble if your head ends up in Miami. אבל מי שמתיירא שמה יעבור זמן קריאת שמה עד שימצא תפילין, if let's say somebody is scared that he might not be a מזמן קריאת שמה without תפילין, he means it without תפילין. It's very interesting when Rakam Abba Shaul was here, Rakam Metzion's grandson, he said קריאת שמה in the morning, But then I reminded him, I didn't know he said Kiryat Shema. I just said to him that we don't make Zman Kiryat Shema, the first one. So he read Kiryat Shema a second time with Tefillah. And then he said a third time when we did it by Tefillah. Because you see people that are mapid, that if they can't make Kiryat Shema, the Zman, the correct time, if they want to make the first time, they read, they put on the Tefillah before, and they say the Kiryat Shema. However, what you do is, after when you get to Filin, if you don't make it, so then you just put on the Tefillin, you read a Mizmor, or you say, Mena'ah with it. Avalayla lavzman Tefillin v'atsul ha'nichan balayla. There's another halakha, you're not allowed to put on Tefillin by night. What happens? Could you borrow somebody's Tefillin? without him knowing. There's a big machlok at Taposkim if the people are makpid or not. Tzul Shulchan Aruch goes that most people want somebody to do a mitzvah with them. Hamuvad Yarach El Kut Yosef says that maybe a person should be careful that some people are very makpid. Now if you know it's a good friend and you know that he wouldn't mind if you do it, Then you could do it, but you have to, it's, I think over there you have to go every case in an individual case to see if you think that the guy would be comfortable with you or not. Have a wonderful day everybody.